Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ortho 4XP tiles for X-Plane 12. Now before we get started, uh, thank you so much for the support. We've just hit 500 subscribers. I've got a very special video coming out for you guys uh, to celebrate that. So thank you very much for the support recently. Make sure you like and I have opened up a new Discord server. So if you guys do get any issues, then please head down there and I'll be happy to resolve them. Anyway, so Ortho 4XP, presumably if you're here, you already know what it is. If you don't, very quickly, you can download satellite imagery and import them into X-Plane to essentially enhance how the ground textures look. So I'll show you an example on screen now. There you are, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm paired with Sim Heaven X World. It's just amazing. And if you want to know how to install Sim Heaven X World, then there'll be a video link in the description and a card in the top right. Now, so first things first, let's download Auto for XP. So there'll be a link in the description to a Google Drive. This is um, from Oscar Pilot, who is the creator of, as you can see here, he's the creator of Auto for XP. So this isn't my Google Drive download or anything; it's his. So click download here. Um, it'll say it's you know a big file just hit download and then what we're gonna do we're gonna put it in mods exponent 12 and just a temporary folder okay once auto XP has downloaded you're gonna want to extract it because it's currently a zip file you can do that with WinRAR uh, I'll leave a link to this program in the description below so just click extract there we are now let's go into this folder okay go into binary and open auto 4xp v130 there we are, we are now in to auto for XP. So, first things first, let's set it up, okay? Now, your base folder here is where it's gonna put those, the files. So, I would recommend putting them straight into your custom scenery folder, just like that. And it'll essentially, when you create the tiles, it'll automatically put them in here. You won't have to copy them across or anything like that. Okay, so just select that. Now, if you do want to know how to run Auto for XP off an external hard drive, this isn't something you have to run whilst you're simming. You just need to create the tiles and you can put the folder into your custom scenery folder. But there is a way to not have it in your custom scenery folder, but it still works. If you did want to save space on your sort of regular hard drive, I've got a video coming out very soon. If you're watching this sort of in the future, then if that video is out, There'll be a card in the top right and a link to it in the description below. Very easy. Right, next, setup. So here, there's a couple of settings which I recommend changing, okay, up here. You don't have to, but it makes your, it give you much, much better results, okay? So first here, the smoothing, we'll change that to 32. Okay. Uh, next, the, this, the curvature, we'll put that on 1.5. Sorry, 1.5 curvature tolerance okay next the mask zoom level 15 that makes it higher quality uh, use masks for inland set that to true the ratio of water i like to set to one and use decal on terrain this is the main one set that to true okay i'll show you before and after of this use decal on terrain it essentially adds a slightly sort of grainy almost um texture over the top um, but I think when you're at an airport, it looks so much, so much better. Okay, right. So that's it. Now the next stuff, this is uh, compulsory. You must do this for it to work. So your custom scenery directory, we're just going to send that to our custom scenery directory. So this is going to be wherever you installed X-Plane. So mine is just on my local disk in X-Plane 12 and then custom scenery. Okay, select folder. Next, you need to select your custom overlay folder. Okay, so that again, your echo to your root X Plane 12 installation. Okay, go to global scenery and X Plane 12 global scenery. Okay, and just select that folder. Okay, now we can just write to uh, config, write app config, and apply and exit. Okay, next let's select where we are going to uh, create our author tile from. So here, as you can see, um, these are ones that I've already created. 
Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and do somewhere new. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Faro here. So if you just double click that and then hold shift and click it again, you'll see you have this sort of red uh, pattern over that tile and also this yellow box, okay? Now, the big thing here is we wanna see what it looks like. So this is a um, preview. So we can go to arc and arc, of course, just when I wanna do a video, arc is down. So if you get a white sort of box like this, it just means that server's down. So arc is down, we'll ignore it. Uh, we'll try Bing. I think Bing is quite nice in this area. There we go. So you can select zoom levels here. And you can select a higher zoom level when we go to actually make the uh, tile, but this is just for preview. So you want, you know, you want to be checking for clouds. So there's, yeah, there's a couple of clouds over there. Um, but other than that, so here's the airport. So of course, I would have to make this tile as well. Um, but I'm actually not going to make this tile, and then you can see before and after at the end of the video. So here is our airport. And you can just leave it like this. If you're happy with this, you can just, you know, exit out of here. But this is a little tip I'm going to show you. So to, in order to keep your si your folder size down, because these tiles can, you know, go up to eight, nine gigabytes almost, but you want the highest quality around the airport. So here's what I do. Generally, I go for zoom level 17 for the, for the tile. Uh, this is essentially the quality okay so obviously the higher your zoom level the more space it's going to take up so i generally go for zoom level 17 around the most of the tile which we select in here but you can select custom zoom levels for custom areas so if we go to zoom level 18 hold control and click as you can see now everywhere outside of this box is going to be made in zoom level 17 but everywhere inside that box is going to be zoom level 18. So around the airport, you can just select, you know, a nice high quality around the airport. Maybe something like that. Great. But the rest of this will all still be slightly lower quality. But you're not going to notice because you're going to be flying higher up generally. And you can even go, you know, zoom level 19. Maybe on the airport itself. And sort of in the runway direction a little bit since that's where you're going to be flying in and out of it's really up to you you can mess about see what you prefer you don't have to do this i just really like it and anyway once you've done that um you can also hit control and right click to remove and then control left click to add okay um and then once you're done with that you can see how much size that's added so just having this area in a higher quality i've added 0.6 gigabytes already so you can see if you're doing somewhere like london where there's maybe four airports in a tile, you're gonna be adding maybe three or four gig for just one tile, so just be careful. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can click save uh, and apply. Of course, if you haven't done that, you don't need to do this. But anyway, say we're happy with Bing and we've set all this up, okay? Now, we're gonna select here what zoom level we want the rest of the tile to be in, the stuff we didn't select. So we wanted Bing, as we just saw, and maybe zoom level 17 okay now that's pretty much it all you want to do is tick all of these boxes okay and click batch build okay so when you click batch build that's going to start here as you can see it's going to go through this now depending on sort of what server you're using what zoom level you're using this can take anywhere between sort of five minutes all the way up to 40 minutes you'll just have to wait and see and you can pick multiple at a time by just holding shift and selecting more tiles okay so we're just gonna let this go through uh make the tile and i'll see you afterwards okay so that completed uh, you know when it's completed when sort of that white window you'll say at the bottom you know it's completed and the bars at the top will be full so anyway let's go to our tile here it which is here z ortho 4xp plus 37 minus 8 and if you go down here to textures yeah, you can see all the textures we just created, okay? So, what you want to do, mine automatically generated in the custom scenery folder because when we selected our base scenery folder, we selected it as here. Now, if you didn't select anything, it's going to be in your Xplane 12, um, in your author for XP file. 
and then you'll see it in here in tiles okay and you, all you have to do is copy and paste it across now we're in our custom scenery folder okay if you're using sim heaven you do not need to do this next step okay if you're using sim heaven x world you don't need to do this next step if you aren't using sim heaven what you need to do is go back to your author for xp folder that's the wrong folder go back to your author for xp folder okay and there'll be a folder in here called overlays or ortho overlays okay you want to copy and paste that into your custom scenery folder as well okay ignore this auto author and ignore these shortcuts and all that okay that's not relevant to this video we're just focusing on this tile here z author for xp underscore plus 37 minus 8 once you have those two in your custom scenery folder there's one small step left to complete which is really really important okay so what we're going to do now is open x-plane 12 okay as you can see we are now in x-plane we're actually just going to exit out of this now and we're going to go back to our custom scenery folder okay and open up this here the scenery underscore packs configuration file open that and as you can see again ignore all of this you can see here the scenery pack custom scenery auto for xp and our tile number that we've just created is being listed here at the top this file essentially tells x-plane in which order to load your scenery so this is quite important if we leave it at the top here it's going to load after all of this stuff including global airports now what that means is that when you load into explain all you're going to see is the ground you're not going to see any buildings any roads any trees any even airports okay you're going to see nothing and that's not what we want okay we want all the buildings to go on top of this so essentially what you're going to do just copy and paste it sorry cut and paste it and you can just put it at the bottom obviously you're not going to have all of these okay but i'm going to put it at the bottom and if you haven't seen my auto auto video i highly recommend going and checking that out although i do have an updated one coming out very soon so i'm going to put it here normally you'd put it at the bottom but i want it above my auto auto but that's not relevant to this video also if you had an overlay folder okay so if you don't have sim heaven x world you should see an uh, auto overlay line as well you want to cut and paste that line to just here below global airports here okay again if this is confusing please join my discord um and you know just post a question there i'll be more than happy to help okay you can even leave a comment on this video okay i'm always about to help and there we are again if you have sim heaven then just make sure your sim heaven is under global airports but you'd have all that installed correctly especially if you have seen my previous video so that's pretty much it guys so as you can see uh, we do have auto for xp installed now and again i'm gonna cut to um pharaoh where we've installed the scenery okay make sure you save this as well before you close out all right guys here we are back in x -Plane, and as you can see here we have our the satellite imagery we just generated using auto for xp and here is standard x -Plane. look at the difference that's insane and that's the zoom level 16 uh, sorry 17 quality guys as you get close to the airport look at that quality that is so sharp okay and with some of the changes we made okay you can see how this is the animated water and it fades really nicely in okay so some of the changes we made to make these coastlines a lot nicer which they are and you can just you can just see look at that difference that's crazy big difference and you know we still have all our buildings here looking at that we still have all our trees okay and this is also using sim heaven x world so i think this looks absolutely amazing thank you so much for watching again if you have any issues please either leave a comment down below join my discord i'd be more than happy to help and i'll see you in the next one